Hello, BookTube. How's it going today? Um, I have a bit of a sort of zine haul for you today. Um, and I say sort of because I made them all. So um, it's kind of strange to haul your own stuff. But I wanted to share it with you because I'm really super excited about all of it. So um, first off, you might have seen already Weird Mass 17 is out. Um, it's the Cthulhu issue. Um, it has Lovecraftian type stories from me. Um, Scott Tio Dempsey, Soder Lucio, Stanley B. Webb, Rick Seam, Rick McQuinston, Logan Noble, Christopher Stanley. Um, and we got serials in here um, by... Brit the Change, uh, Jay Zimmerman, and myself. So this is a jam-packed issue. Um, I love it. And there is a second Cthulhu issue coming called Cthulhu. So that'll be fun. Um, next, we got the Time Machine number five. Um, and that's Dwight Fry on the cover from Frankenstein. And um, since it's the fifth issue, this is the fifth installment of the 1818 text of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Um, we also have um, some Conan from Robert E. Howard, um, some Lovecraft, and some John W. Campbell. So good stuff in here. Um, next, I made a couple um, new zines and what is going on with Weird Mask is it's kind of expanding a little bit. Um, and one of the things that is expanding is we will start doing like miscellaneous type stuff. Um, like just like one-offs and this is one of them right here. Um, H.P. Lovecraft, Juvenalia, 1897 to 1908. This is a collection. Um, look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Um, this is a collection of the stories he wrote from the age of 7 to 18. Um, and some of them are pretty shit, but it kind of shows you, like, the, the scope of how he grew as a writer. And actually, two of my favorite stories are in here. Um, the Beast in the Cave and The Alchemist. They're both really good. Um, he wrote Beast in the Cave when he was 15 and The Alchemist when he was 18. So this is pretty fun. And I wrote an introduction to it. And that was the first time I have ever done anything like that. Like, um, I don't know, like write an introduction for something kind of serious. So that was kind of like a neat little thing for me. Um, and then for me just geeking out and stuff, and I'm whittling down my audience here to like one or two people. But um, I have another new zine that is being put out through Weird Mask called um, RVGZ, which is the retro video game zine. And this first issue, we're covering Yar's Revenge, which was um, originally put out on the Atari 2600. Um, it was a game put together by Howard Scott Warshaw, who also did um, the Raiders of the Lost Ark game, which is amazing and totally ahead of its time. And E.T., the Extraterrestrial, which, again, is totally amazing and ahead of its time and got a lot of bad rap for shit that was not its problem and that will be a topic coming up at a later date so um and there's howard chilling and his flipper floppers um and i have an article in here called 11 things you didn't know about yars revenge um and then there's some other stuff at the end but this was just more of a passion project, like just like a labor of love for um, one of the many things I completely geek out on. And then finally, I've been hinting at this and actually more than hinting, I think I actually talked about it, um, but Black Star Canyon, we are putting this out again 
how it was originally meant to be read, which was a serialized um, story. So if you like Twin Peaks, if you like Wayward Pines, if you like Northern Exposure, American Gothic, um, The Prisoner, um, things like that with like a very soapy soap opera feel, um, you're gonna love this. Like, this is probably, so far, like, the thing I've done that I'm most proud of, and it's just because of how, like, epic the scope of it was. Um, this is going to be a monthly zine, an episode every month. Um, there's 26 episodes, um, so... This will be going on for some time. And when we originally started putting this out in 2013, um, we did it in individual episodes. Um, and since on Etsy I could do things where like I put um, stuff together in a tangible form, um, I just really wanted to do this again because before it was on Amazon, um, you could actually get the novels. There's five novels that complete the whole um, 26 episodes or whatever. Um, so if you wanted to just like beat me to the punch and just like go on Amazon and pick up the ebooks, you could do that too. But if you want to um, collect, the zines with the awesome cover work that Zoe did. Um, here's the first cover, and then there's the cover for issue two that's going to come out on June 1st. Um, definitely come along on this ride with us. It'll be a long one. So um, that's kind of all the stuff. There is one more... Actually, there might be two more new zines coming out. Um, how? Where is that? Okay. There might be two new zines coming out. Um, one of them is for sure, and I'll just tell you about it. It's called um, Cinecrypt, and um, it is a like a classic monster movie fanzine that is very much um, in the same vein as like famous monsters of film land and stuff like that. Um, famous monsters of film land was a huge influence on me. Um, just with everything. Cause like before the internet, um, and without having a lot of channels on your TV, um, there wasn't a whole lot of places where you could find stuff. So going to like thrift stores and finding old, um, issues of famous monsters. And then when they, when, what was it? Ray Ferry took it over and tried to revamp it in the early nineties. Um, I was like one of the first subscribers, like, like I got my subscription as soon as I could, and um, was collecting all those issues. And it's just great because it shows you so much stuff of the old horror flicks. And um, in Famous Monsters, there wasn't like really like hard hitting, great articles. They were, they were fun, but like uh, magazines like Scarlet Street and Cult Movies and stuff like that had like more serious articles and I really dug those a whole lot too. Um, but yeah, so there's already, um, I got three other people writing articles for Cinecrypt, um, and that'll be coming out soon. And the article I wrote for it was, um, the order that you should watch the universal monsters, big three, which is Dracula, Frankenstein, and Wolfman. Because you could watch it by um, release date, but I think it kind of messes up what happens when the big monster rally stuff starts happening, like in the 40s. So, um, like, I tweaked the time, not the timeline, but like how you should watch the films in what order. Um, and then there's um, a buddy of mine, Stephen Thompson. 
um, wrote an article about, um, what is it? The Man Who Laughs. Is that what that movie's called? The Conrad Veet movie? Where the Joker smile came from and all that stuff? Um, which is awesome. And so there, there's a couple other um, really cool articles. And if any of the stuff I'm talking about here, because like I've opened up Weird Mask to everybody here. Like if anyone wants to write for Weird Mask, like write um, short stories or serials or whatever to let me know. And I'm totally cool. If you're more of an article writer and you would like to write something for Cinecrypt or um, the retro video game zine, um, is there anything else that's kind of like that? I do have another, um, zine coming out that's, um, literature based, but articles. So, um, it's mainly like articles about classic literature. Um, if any of these things sound like something that, um, you would be interested in wanting to like write for, or like, just like share some stuff or even artwork. If you're an artist, you know, just let me know. Um, I'm totally down with, um, like kind of collaborating with people and doing fun shit. So all of these, um, are available on my Etsy store. I'll put the link down below. Um, and I hope you enjoy them if you get them. So, um, happy reading. Oh, today's Friday, huh? Shit. Yeah, you should read this for Friday Reads. What the hell, you know? Um, I don't know what I'm going to read today. I f uh, I'll do another video on that. I have just finished a book and now I don't know what to do. So, um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.